all living organisms must have sunlight in order to exist. But the way that we are living has disconnected us from our bond with the sun, and it's disrupting our circadian rhythms. The biological clock responsible for every function in our bodies. Let's explore how our understanding of light and its effect on the body has evolved, and more importantly, where it's going. First, a quick 60-second idiot's guide to the history of light. In year zero, sunlight became the catalyst for life on Earth. About 4.5 billion years later, early human discovered fire. Let's call her Lucy. About another 200,000 years before Edison was the first to commercialize the incandescent bulb, and it ushered in round-the-clock industrial production. Fast forward 137 years when Arianna Huffington. Published the Sleep Revolution, attributing bad sleep habits to the pressures of round-the-clock industrial life. In 2017, the Nobel Prize was awarded to three American scientists for their discoveries of the molecular mechanism responsible for our circadian rhythms, our biological clocks. More on that later. In this month of this year, March 2018, the first regulations are being launched for tunable lighting, designed to support a healthier wake and sleep cycle. Okay, history lesson over.、Um, let's look at a real-life example. Have you ever traveled to a gloomy place, or? Lived through a particularly dark and wet winter. <laughs> right, <laughs> we know gloom. We're in Vancouver. We feel it in our brains, our bodies. We feel it in our DNA. Gloom goes deep. But we need to lighten up. Seriously, because our lives. Depend upon it, because light is life. All living organisms require sunlight in order to exist. I'll science that message up a little bit. All living organisms require specific wavelengths of light provided by the sun in order to exist at all. When Lucy, or one of her relatives, Discovered fire. Early Homo sapien developed cooking, and took control of heat and lighting. It would be another 200,000 years before an invention would fundamentally change our relationship with the sun, the electric light bulb. It's amazing, 137 years since Edison, and we now have light everywhere. Efficiently, brightly, at multiple wavelengths, in a variety of color tones and temperatures, 24 hours a day if we so choose. An amazing step for humanity. Light instantly, whenever we want. We in the West take full advantage of this, and we now spend about 90 percent of our time. Indoors, under electric light, we can and do operate 24 hours a day. But there is a cost, and we can see it most acutely in shift workers. On September 11th, 2001, I was living in New York City. I had the great honor to volunteer alongside a very heroic group of shift workers, first responders. 
In the days and weeks that followed the disaster, I was at front row seat for their superhuman capabilities. And it forced me to ask the question, what motivates these people? What I discovered is that they are motivated at a deep level to save lives. So much so that it's a great cost to themselves. In fact, they are suffering higher rates of post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD. And this has been implicated in their high rates of suicide. Currently, about 10 times the national average. One of the horrible, horrible side effects of PTSD are the nightmares. And nightmares lead to lack of sleep, circadian rhythm disruption. Doctors are now starting to recommend that PTSD sufferers increase their exposure to sunlight in order to get their circadian rhythms back in gear. Okay, let's look a little bit more at circadian rhythms. The circadian rhythm is the biological clock responsible for releasing chemicals and hormones in the body throughout the day, including the melatonin that triggers our bodies to sleep. What we've discovered is that when we do not receive the right light, we cannot thrive. According to scientists, including Dr. Benjamin Smarr, a chronobiologist, and Dr. Matthew Walker, a neuroscientist, lack of sleep or circadian rhythm disruption are likely contributors to cancer, Alzheimer's, anxiety, depression, loss of productivity, dementia, mental fogginess, and even infertility. A more topical list of health and wellness concerns is really hard to imagine. The way that we are living is messing up our internal systems of rhythms and clocks, big time. Okay. Um, I'm not advocating for a return to an earlier age before Netflix or Twitter or Tinder, but <laughs> we do need to consider how these new technologies, the personal hand tools of the 21st century, are changing us. First, we make our tools, and then our tools make us. This is an appropriate aphorism. We need to work with technologies to create conditions for us to thrive, not kill us from within. I'm an industrial designer, and I did my master's thesis in lighting and biomimicry, copying nature to design lighting. I'm now working to bring sunlight inside to help us get our circadian rhythms back in gear. In the future, all indoor lighting will have the ability to mimic sunlight. But not only hitting us from our overhead fixtures, but also from our wall coatings and panels, mimicking the indirect way that sunlight bounces around outside. For this, we will need quantum dots. That's what I've been working on for the past six years. What are quantum dots? <laughs> quantum dots are tiny nanoparticles 
made from semiconductor materials. And their size determines their color. You can see here that the red quantum dots are larger. You can't see that, but they are. And the green ones are smaller. So their size determines their color. But you can fit about 10,000 of these onto the width of a human hair. They have numerous applications across multiple industries. What excites the display industry is their ability to emit light richer than anything else currently available. I am really, really excited about quantum dots. <laughs> they are highly efficient at converting sunlight into energy. They're semiconductors, so you can program them to switch on and off, self-assemble, self-organize. At this tiny nano scale, we can think of tunable paint that mimics the rise and the fall of the sun. And given the grayness of Vancouver, we might even improve upon outdoor conditions. Imagine a future free of seasonal affective disorder. Quantum dots, <laughs> quantum dots are the richest and most accurate way in which to simulate sunlight. Nothing beats quantum dots in simulating sunlight. That's why my company is using this technology in indoor lighting to help people be more creative, healthier, happier, less stressed, and more productive. We call this human-centered approach tunable lighting. It also has applications for plants and animals, but we're sticking to humans for now. Whilst quantum dot lighting has benefits for all people, I am particularly interested in shift workers, or those working under high levels of stress in critical environments, and of course, those heroic first responders suffering from PTSD. We're currently exploring supporting firefighters before and after their critical responses by using connected lighting between their fire holes and their fire trucks to help them wake up quickly and go back to sleep quickly. A not so distant goal is to coat the interior of the Mars spaceship with quantum dot technology so that when humans are traveling the distance, they can maintain the solar cycle here on Earth. Or even better, use the six month travel time to slowly adjust them to the 26 and a half hour solar cycle on Mars. Isn't it amazing what people can achieve when performing at optimal levels? We're now realizing that sunlight is just as important as food, water, nutrition, and exercise. Imagine if that became the norm. Obviously, we're a little way off. But meanwhile, back here on this planet now, we can begin to augment our environments and upping our lighting quotient. Light is absorbed through the skin and the eyes. And unlike food and water, there is no cost. But just like food and water, we can curate the quality by controlling the light source. So here are a few simple tips that we can implement now to get our circadian rhythms better supported. Firstly, 
We can download apps like Etflux or switch on night shift on our Apple devices by simply inputting the time that we wake up and the time that we go to bed, our screens will mimic the correct light temperature throughout the day. Secondly, because darkness is just as important as light and a requirement for healthy sleep patterns, we need to develop habits that support consistency, consistent wake times, consistent sleep times. Binge sleeping or sleep deprivation is just like binging or deprivation in other areas of our lives. Balance is the ideal. And thirdly, do what your mama told you. Get outside. Spend more time in sunlight and nature. By exposing our bodies to sunlight, we reconnect with our evolutionary bond with the sun. Science definitely backs your mama up on this one. And lastly, the reason I'm here today, tunable lighting is about to become a rebatable product. Vancouver City is an early adopter. We are currently testing quantum dot lighting at, city of, at the City Hall of Vancouver. It's part of Vancouver Economic Commission's Green and Digital Development Program, an initiative focused on improving energy efficiency, productivity, and human health. Quite simply, light is life. <laughs>